Hi, I'm Cristiana Serra, Marmalade Game Studios Head of Studio in Lisbon, and I'm here to talk to you about Jumanji The Curse Returns. So in making this game, we have created a mashup of a board game plus a co-op adventure, and we're pretty sure you haven't played anything like it before. If you always wished you could play Jumanji for real, this is it. We made sure the gameplay mechanics are easy to pick up, but time restrictions keep up the pace as you match and share items. The emphasis is definitely on working together and having fun. Jumanji itself is a board game. There are four players and the goal is to reach the center of the board. It sounds simple, but as we all know, Jumanji contains a magical jungle that wants to escape into the real world. If you make it to the jewel in the middle of the board, the entire jungle and creatures brought with it will be sucked back into the game. So Jumanji is literally fighting to stop you from reaching the finish. Every time you roll the dice, a riddle appears in a jewel, and each riddle reveals a clue as to what challenge you'll face next. In the 1995 movie, all kinds of crazy creatures come out of the board. We're talking giant bats and mosquitoes, a lion, right the way through to a whole stampede. The gameplay itself is straightforward fun that requires speed and cooperation in order to win each round. Every player has your token and a stash of items. You have to use the right item at the right time to banish the danger. When you get this right, your token charges a little, and when it's fully charged, you can use your token's power, which matches any item you might need. Each round demands teamwork. You'll be facing whatever danger comes out of the board, plus jungle vines, which will always try to ensnare you. And if Chumanji sets the hunter Van Pelt loose, he'll appear when you least expect it and try to disable you and your team. In the movie, all four players work together to beat Jumanji, so we really wanted four players in the game. But there are lots of player modes. You can play solo with three AI team members, play co-op with three friends or family members, play with one or two friends with AI characters making up for any missing players, or play an open online game with people around the world. The choice is yours. The most important thing is that you win or lose together as a team. If you don't manage to beat the jungle, you'll lose a location to Jumanji. And if you lose all five locations to the game, Jumanji wins. If you're a fan of the franchise, if you want to connect with friends, or if you love board games, this really is the co-op adventure for you. So Jumanji The Curse Returns is coming soon to Steam and Nintendo Switch. And you can add it to your Steam wishlists now. Myself and the team here at Marmalade Game Studio really hope you'll love it as much as we loved making it.